Thank you very much. <clears throat> Thank you very much, honorable members. I arise before this distinguished assembly of the democratically elected representatives of the people of Kenya to discharge my constitutional function under Article 132.1c. The occasion requires me to give an account to the people of Kenya, the measures taken by their government under my leadership, and to give full expression and effect to the soul of our constitutional dispensation by implementing the national values and principles of governance set out in Article 10 of our Constitution. I have a substantial report to give on the progress made in fulfilling this solemn covenant and that the journey of transforming Kenya for the benefit of present and future generations is fully underway. It is positive effect. I've also begun to bear fruit across many sectors of our national endeavor from the grassroots all the way to this capital of Nairobi. On the 13th September 2022 last year, when I took office, I undertook to ensure the urgent transformation of our economy and to stop and reverse the negative trends of runaway unemployment, yawning inequality, and widespread poverty, which have denied Kenyans their dignity and extinguished their dreams. The mass appeal of the bottom-up economic transformation agenda was due in large part to the fact that its development and articulation, as well as its content and implementation strategy, represented our national values in action. It was inclusive, democratic, committed to social justice and the protection of the marginalized. Our commitment to bring the national values and principles of governance to life in order to significantly enhance the well-being of every individual and promote the unity, stability, security and development of our country began long before the last election and will endure well beyond our time. It has been my manifest intention to live up to all the commitments set out in the plan, and despite enormous challenges and tremendous difficulties, we have made encouraging progress in a positive direction. This has not only vindicated our philosophy of inclusive transformation in pursuit of shared prosperity, but it has also increased our confidence that we are on the right path and shall, in due course, deliver the transformation of our nation in full. It is important for us to point out that we began the implementation of our mandate to transform Kenya's economy from the bottom up under extreme difficult circumstances. Not to excuse failure or to justify inability or omission to, the to do the necessary work. Not at